Once you've set up your account on the GitHub website, you're ready to download the software that your computer uses to communicate with GitHub. That software is what's called the GitHub Desktop Client. It provides a graphical user interface that is an alternative to typing in command line commands. Um, it will do most of the functions that you can do in command line get. Um, there are some complicated ones that you can't do, but most of the normal things that people will do, you can uh, use this graphical interface. It is designed specifically to communicate with GitHub. So if you're primarily managing files only on your local computer, or if you are um, trying to communicate with a server that supports Git that is not GitHub, then you um, won't be able to use this software without at least some modification. So this is primarily for communicating with GitHub. In order to get the software, you need to go to desktop.github.com and then download and install the software. Um, and once you've installed the software, you'll then be ready to run the desktop client. Uh, here's what the download website looks like. There's a big button. It should detect automatically what operating system your computer is using. Once you click the download button and then double click or click to um, install the software, uh, then you will have a specific process depending on whether you have Mac or PC. So go ahead and complete that process. Um, then once you're done, you should be able to open the desktop client. The first time that you run the desktop client, it will need to know what your account information is in order to be able to log you in. So I can't demonstrate this because I'm already logged in, but you should be prepared to enter your user account name and also your password that you created when you created the account. And once you do that, the desktop client will remember that from then onwards, but you should get some kind of dialogue the first time you use it, which will ask you for that information.